Hey everybody, it's Randall. Let me actually get back in the frame here. Um, I'm a little out of sorts because the past few days I've been dealing with a, an infected tooth. Um, you know, I haven't been on social media much. So I, I've kind of been out of the loop of things. But apparently I've come back just in time because... Uh, the... Uh, <laughs> The Republicans got kicked in the ass in Kentucky um, for the first time in a very long time. That state has now gone blue. It now has a Democrat governor. Another example was in Monroe County in New York, where the county exec for the first time in about 29 years or so is now a Democrat. Been a blue wave. It's not a tidal wave. It's just a wave Hopefully it's a sign of things to come. You know, the Republican Party has gotten as far away from their ideals over the past 15 years as a hog is from the moon. Uh, there's, there's something else I want to address. I saw plenty of people on social media over the course of the past several weeks saying, well, why should I vote? My vote doesn't matter. Soros will just buy somebody. The Koch brothers will just buy somebody. Well, money in politics has been around a very long time. Um, just look at how Mark Hanna got William McKinley elected back about 100 and 120 years ago, late 1890s. But what astonishes me is that there are people that sat home today instead of getting out and voting. Whether you believe in the system or not, that bugs me, sitting at home doing nothing. Because as you and I casually watch this video, or as I casually make the video and you sit there and watch it, there are people right now who are in jail because they protested for their right to vote. There are people right now who are dead because they dare protest it to get the right to vote. We are coming up on 100 years since women were given the right to vote. By the way, I believe it was 1921 before Native Americans were given the right to vote. And it's just bizarre how we throw that right away here in the States. No matter how we view elections, we throw that right away. And I think of those people who are in graves now. Because they dared stand up against their government and demand their voices be heard. Because they dare to want change. You see, that's the greatest insult. The fact we throw away our vote. The fact we throw away our vote is a great insult to those people. They look upon us with awe and wonder. They look upon us with envy because we have democracy, because we have the right to vote. And yet, people would rather get in line for a new iPhone, camp out for that, versus get off their ass, fill a piece of paper, put it into a machine and vote. We tend to worry about our own corner in the world. You got people wondering, why should I care about the wildfires in California? That doesn't affect me. I live in Arkansas, or Alabama, or Iowa, or Connecticut. Why should I care about the wildfires? Well, you should because they're, it's affecting your fellow Americans. But beyond that, borders should not mean whether you care about a person's plight or not. Just as borders... Borders shouldn't mean we throw away the right to vote. So as you watch this video, and if you're somebody who, instead of going out and voting on November the 5th, you stayed at home and you played Fortnite, or you watched a marathon of something on Netflix... And you decided why make your voice count? You spit on the grave 
everybody in China, in Hong Kong, in every other nation that does not have what we have, that's not blessed to have what we have. You spit on the graves of everybody who died just to get the privilege we take for granted. That's all. Have a good night and a better tomorrow.